Hi, I'm Sully. I live in New Orleans, which is home to the National World War II Museum and close to the Mississippi Armed Forces Museum. World War II was fought hard in Europe, Asia, and the Pacific. Take a few looks at these maps. The term Pacific Theater includes a large portion of the Pacific Ocean, East Asia, and Southeastern Asia, and many small islands. By 1941, Japan controlled a large portion of this area. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. By doing this, they were hoping to destroy a large part of the United States Navy and keep control of the Pacific Theater. To counter this, the United States and the Allies used a strategy called island hopping. Fighting island by island with each captured island, they moved closer to Japan. This was not easy and casualties added up on both sides. Slowly, the United States began to retake parts of the Pacific Theater. Hi, my name is James. I'm from Northern Virginia. Not too far from me is the U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial. Iwo Jima is 750 miles south of the island of Japan. It is only eight square miles in size. It's mostly flat except for one mountain, Mount Suribachi. The island was an important location. If the United States controlled it, fighter planes and bombers could take off from there to attack Japan. It took over a month of fierce fighting to take control of this small patch of land in the Pacific Ocean. A very famous picture was taken of Marines raising the flag at Iwo Jima. Later, this image became the inspiration for the Marine Corps Memorial near Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Scarlett Langhorst and I'm from Liberty, Missouri. Near here is the Harry S. Truman Presidential Library and Museum. The Battle of Okinawa was codenamed Operation Iceberg. This was the largest amphibious battle of the Pacific Theater during World War II. It lasted 82 days and involved the Army, Marines, and Navy. Sometimes the battle is called the Typhoon of Steel because of the intensity of the fighting. Thousands were killed and wounded on both sides. This island was important as a staging area for troops, a safer place for Navy ships, and airfields close to Japan. Before Iwo Jima and Okinawa, a battle took place on Tinian that was very important at the end of the war. Hi, I'm Christian from the Fort Irwin Army Base. This base was built at the beginning of World War II and was used for anti-air gunnery training. This is the island of Tinian. It is a part of the Mariana Islands. The Navy bombarded the island and the Marines landed and eventually controlled it. The airfield here was extremely important and was the busiest airfield of the entire war with six long runways that allowed B-29 bombers to take off, including the Enola Gay. These were the only three battles fought throughout the Pacific. There are many more and the soldiers who fought there were unbelievably brave. The paper airplanes you saw our friends using are available for free on the National Air and Space Museum webpage. We want you to download one and build it, or design your very own. Leave a picture down in the comments section. Then be sure to follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube page.